do you want? This video is about wants and aspirations. In my last video, I talked about fears and frustrations and I asked you guys what your fears and frustrations are and what action steps you are going to take to overcome those fears or to get around those fears so you could reach your goals. I asked for comments and video responses and I got a great video response from Paul Cousineau so I'll uh, post that again on my Facebook page so you guys should check that out so I want uh, the same type of response in this video leave me a comment or a video response telling me about your wants and aspiration a little bit of a, the contrast to fears and frustrations fears and frustrations are very painful those are things that we want to move away from so they're motivating in a negative way. We're trying to move away from those fears and frustrations. But with wants and aspirations, those are the things that we want to move towards. So what are your wants and aspirations? I know for me, one of my big things is traveling. Uh, up to this point in my life, I haven't traveled a whole lot. Um, I haven't traveled outside of North America, in fact. <clears throat> I, tr I haven't even been to every uh, province in New Brunswick and I've been to a few um, different states so and that happens every once in a while I'll, I've been to Florida uh, I've been to Maine uh, I've been to California so I've been um, I got out a little bit in my life but I'd like to travel a lot more and perhaps see Europe and I know that goes with my girlfriend as well we want to travel together and I I don't think either of us have traveled a huge amount. I mean, we get out and we take trips every once in a while, so we're not like complete hermits or anything, but it's definitely something I aspire to do. I want to see different cultures, how the world works, and just get out there and explore and have a sense of freedom a little bit. Um, my other thing is I'd like to be able to meet my some of my heroes some of the people that I've learned from and I've gotten a lot out of in the past uh, some examples that come to mind are Evan Pagan I, I really would love to meet him or go to one of his live programs sometimes because for the last few years I've listened to several of his audio programs seen many of his DVD uh, on stage programs and I know that he's been a monumental help with me, uh, with my personal development, um, increasing my self-esteem, uh, figuring out what my passions and my, pers uh, my purpose is in life, and also helping me a huge amount in my personal business. So just the fact that I listen to him all the time and, and watch a lot of his programs and how much he's helped, it would be amazing to see him live in action and actually be able to shake his hand and that's very similar that goes to the same with Tony Robbins I think seeing one of his live events would be amazing and the other person that comes to mind is Elliot Hulse I've watched many of his videos he's a strength and conditioning coach but he's also um, his message is become the strongest version of yourself so he talks a lot about self-development and he takes it from a very different approach than a lot of people. He um, brings in information from a lot of different philosophies like Eastern philosophy um, and, and Western philosophy kind of blends it together and um, his stuff is very interesting. He has like a lot of psychological stuff, stuff about personal growth and a lot of advice type of stuff too and I really really enjoy his material and I've learned a lot from his stuff so anyway the question to you guys again what are your wants and aspirations in your life what do you want to make happen what's on your bucket list what do you want to accomplish before you die I'll leave that to you guys please leave me a response alright peace